I want to take this opportunity uh, to thank our volunteers here in New Hampshire. Uh, our people have knocked on hundreds of thousands of doors in the snow and in the rain and the cold. And I think that's why we have a chance to do really, really well here uh, tonight. And I think the reason we're going to do well also has to do with we have an agenda that speaks to the needs of working families all across this country who in many cases feel that Washington has turned its back on them. These are people who are working longer hours for low wages, people who are frustrated and angry that almost all new income and wealth is going to the top 1%, understand that there's something fundamentally wrong, that we are the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all, and that we pay by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs because of the corruption and greed of the pharmaceutical industry. I think that is a message that resonated in Iowa where we won the, uh, we won the vote by some 6,000 votes. It's going to resonate here in New Hampshire, and I believe it's going to resonate all over this country. The people of the United States, finally, want a government that works for all of us, not just the 1%. That is our message, and that is a message that is going to win this election and defeat Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, we're going to beat Donald Trump because to defeat him, you're going to need the largest voter turnout in the history of this country. That's what you're going to need. You're going to have to bring people who in the past have not necessarily voted, disillusioned working people, who say, why should I vote? You know, nobody cares about me. We're going to have to bring in young people in a way that we have never done before. And by the way, in Iowa, while it is true that the voter turnout was not as high as we had wanted it to be, the voter turnout among young people under 29 years of age increased by 33%. And I think what you're seeing here in New Hampshire, you saw it in Iowa, I think you're seeing it all over this country as an involvement, as young people get increasingly involved into the political process. They are worried about climate change. They are worried about racism and sexism and homophobia. They are worried that they're leaving school 50 or or $100,000 in debt. They want to be involved in the process. I think ours is the campaign that uh, will bring them in. Be careful. Thank you very much. Come with me. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.